guys, so today I'm going to be doing a pretty exciting haul. It's going to be kind of like a fall haul, except a lot of this stuff is still kind of summery because I live in SoCal and there isn't that much of like a huge difference. It's November and it's still pretty hot. I also have some makeup stuff. I'm like really excited about the stuff that I bought in the past couple months. Um, this isn't everything that I bought, but um, some of the things I just had for too long, so I just like put it aside and I'm just going to show you like the things that I'm really excited about. Okay, let's see. Ooh, there's so much stuff. Okay. Well, I bought a majority of my stuff from Forever, as always. I like shopping for affordable clothing when it's trendy. I rarely ever buy anything that's really expensive because, unless it's really nice. So all my stuff is pretty cheap because I feel like I'm not going to be wearing it for forever. Um, and also I don't have a job, so can't really buy nice things. But anyways, I got this jacket a while ago. I already wore it a ton. It's like a bomber jacket, a satin bomber jacket. It's kind of like Asian inspired design. This is also really popular. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really cute. It just kind of like amps up an outfit because the jacket is like a statement. And it has some pink trim in the back. It's obviously all embroidered as well. It's really beautiful. Um, and what's really cool and why I like immediately had to buy this jacket was because it's actually reversible, which I wanted um, an embroidered one and I also wanted like a baby pink one because I thought that was pretty cool too. And um, this is the best of both worlds because it's baby pink on the other side. So yeah, it's just reversible. It's baby pink and white with a little bit of black detail and it looks really cute. So yeah, it's all like satiny and nice. Okay, stuff is all over the place. I'm going to go back. This is from actually eBay. I got a Harley Davidson shirt. You guys probably have seen this on like my Instagram. It's just, I think it's really cool. It has like this like turquoise Harley Davidson thing on the front. Um, and on the back it has this awesome detail which I thought looked so cool. It's like a really dope like design. But yeah, that's the back. And um, it, it was pretty long and it ended up actually just chopping off the end. And I thought, I think it looks so much cuter. I'm hoping soon I can wear this with my denim shorts and a pair of like over the knee boots and I think it would look really cute. I got another Harley inspired top which I know is kind of extra to have multiple. You guys have also probably seen this if you follow my Instagram but it's this Japanese one which I thought looked so cool. Um, yeah I was supposed to say like Harley Davidson in like Japanese. I thought it was a really unique find. I found it on one of those closet sale apps and I um, obviously distressed it. I put little holes everywhere. I chopped off the bottom, I chopped off the sleeves because it fit really awkward when I first got it. And I made this hole on the neckline which also looks pretty cool. And yeah, it's really relaxed and comfortable. It gives your outfit just a cool edgy vibe. I really dig it. This shirt is complicated when it's not on the hanger. This is a shirt that I got actually in store in Forever which is surprising because I never like in store shop anymore. But yeah, I went to the mall recently and I got this shirt, which is not cooperating. But yeah, basically it's a tiny little crop top. It's probably the shortest crop top that I own, but it would look really cute with high-waisted skirts. It's in this beautiful like apricot kind of color. That's pretty unlike me to wear something like this, but it's so, so, so cute. And it's so dainty and like feminine. I don't know, I don't own anything like this. It's super duper feminine. It even has like little flutter sleeves. Like, it could also probably be dressed up with like um, the right kind of skirt, or it can be dressed down for sure. You can tie it with this into a pretty big bow. Um, but if I were to wear it to school, it'd probably be too inappropriate. So maybe I'd have to wear something under it or something like that. But it's great just um, you know when I'm not going to school and just trying to look cute. So. And that's a super adorable crop top. Um, I also got something to wear to the concert that I went to. I went to Mac Miller. Um, and I got this in the mail right before I had to leave. So I just quickly changed into this. But I don't know if you can tell, but it's a, it's a plunging neckline, ribbed, really stretchy, really comfortable bodysuit. I never thought I'd be a person to buy a bodysuit because I thought they were super like annoying to wear because it's like wearing like, like a one piece all day, but this is really soft and stretchy and comfortable. And the bodysuit part, you know, is like pretty small. So I could just wear this as a regular tank top and like not button it at the bottom. But yeah, it just has a, it has a very low um, plunging neck. So um, I have to wear it with a bralette underneath, but it still looks really cute. 
on the back. I don't know if you can tell, but it crisscrosses. So yeah, it's super cute. Um, it's great to wear with like some boyfriend jeans because you want to wear like I wanted to wear something tight on top with my boyfriend jeans because they're really baggy. And then also from Forever, I got this pair of rust colored pants. I love the color. It's very fall appropriate. The fit on my body is slightly awkward, but yeah, it has this like um, belt on it that you can tie in a bow in the front or tie it however you want in the front. And um, it's just like, yeah, a plain pair of pants. It's slightly long for me, so I feel like I have to do something about that. But um, they're high-waisted, and I still think they're really cute. I was thinking of returning it, but I think with certain outfits, it could look really, really cool. And I just want to buy more like pants, not like jeans, but like actual pants. And that also looked really cute with the bodysuit underneath it. Um, so, yeah. This is something I also got kind of a while ago. I wore it a couple times already. But it's this um, sheer rose embroidered top, which I just fell in love with right when I saw it on the website. Um, it's like kind of edgy, but it's like so intricate and girly with the roses and everything. It's like actually embroidered. It has this little ribbon bow on it too, and it's just like completely sheer. So you could um, wear it with like a bralette under for a little bit more like a risque look or pair it with a little crop top. Really, really love that. And it came with this connected to it and so there, it just was connected by like a couple threads so you could literally just snip it off really quickly. And this is actually one of my favorite tank tops or tops in general to wear now. I actually love this top. It's just a very plain square kind of necked cropped tank but you could st I could still wear it with like some of my mid to high rise jeans um it still isn't too short I've been like more getting more into like just like basic tank top or just a tire I guess so I thought this was so cute and I'm glad that I got like two shirts from one and this is something that I got from wet seal actually which I know again I'm shopping at wet seal and I know that's like a really trashy shop but again I searched for deals and I got um this this stuff for so incredibly cheap that I really couldn't pass it up and um yeah honestly I don't really care what store I shop at as long as the clothes are cute and these are really basic items anyway and I really enjoy them so this is just a plain kind of like chiffon well not chiffon I don't know what kind of material this is but you know that kind of like flowy cool kind of material and it's slightly more dressy, that kind of feel. It just has a v-neck, which I've been wanting like a plain white um, dressier v-neck tank top. It also has this like T back detail, which I thought looked really cool. It's like another extra detail. I like how it's not cropped either, so I can wear it with like anything. It looks super cute, especially if you pair it with like, like lots of accessories or something like that. And maybe with like a leather jacket on top. I probably got this for like $9. Um, and then I also got a sweater yeah this is actually a really really soft um cozy material i'm like really obsessed with it and um yeah it's just a plain light gray sweater i don't have any like sweaters that look like this it's again pretty boxy that's usually how i like wearing my sweaters it has a side slit it gives it an added little detail and yeah it's just pretty plain all around but i wanted just like a simple gray sweater so i got that this is something that I DIY'd actually. I went on Amazon or eBay. I think it was eBay. And I got this grommet trim, which I, this is all I have left. I got one yard, so it wasn't that long. But yeah, I made this shirt out of it. And I got a good amount of compliments on it. And yeah, I actually just made it myself completely. This is a shirt that I got in Korea that I actually didn't really like that much. I knew I was like never going to wear it. It just didn't look cute on me and everything. So that's why... um. When I did this, I cut off the sleeves. It used to be the most unflattering and awkward length, like the sleeve, so I just chopped it off. This part f falls kind of weirdly because it was it's kind of like fastened a little bit too tight, but um I'm glad I didn't spend more than like five dollars on this t-shirt because I only paid for the trim. So yeah, I am in love with that shirt now. And now I'm gonna go into like accessory stuff. This is probably like one of my favorite purchases. I got a pair of Vans old school sneakers in the suede, um, yeah, just the black. It's already dirty. I've had it for a couple weeks now, like two to three weeks now, and I've been wearing it a lot, so it's already dirty, so I'm kind of sad about that. But yeah, it's just 
you know, you've probably seen these shoes everywhere. They're really popular. I got them on um, Amazon because I'm pretty sure they were sold out on Vans. And it was like $5 cheaper on Amazon anyways. So um, that was a great purchase. I'm wearing them all the time. I think they look so cute with a pair of high socks. And my boyfriend James, that's just been like my daily look lately. I also got some accessories. I got this gorgeous ring, which I'm not sure if you can see. It's just like really, really huge and extra, but um, it's just like a stone ring. It's adjustable. It's from a boutique in LA called Grouse that my cousin actually picked up for me months ago. And I left it at my friend's house for the longest time and we didn't have a chance to like meet up for her to give it back to me. So I finally got it back now and I love it. It's probably like my best quality looking ring that I have so far. So I think it looks really dope and I like pairing it with like some minimal um, midi rings with it just to like balance it out. I also got this pair of hammered gold hoops. They're very, very light and thin. Um, I've, this is like the first time I've ever worn like dangly earrings um, with these. And because they're so thin, you like can't even feel them. And they're pretty big. They're not like a small hoop. They're like a pretty substantial hoop. And these were from Nordstrom. And I got this choker, which is like a maroon choker. And I got it because it came with this necklace, which I am obsessed with this necklace combination. I It's a great purchase. I'm really glad I did it. This necklace looks really nice. It's honestly really nice quality. And it's just like the type where it's really dainty gold chain and it goes into this little, I don't know how to describe this, but it hangs down like this. So it just is really like minimal and it looks really, really cute. I also got some stuff on ColourPop. I got two liners and two shadows. I got another orange shadow, which I really got to stop with the um, orange orange colors because I'm buying too many but this is an elixir it's part of their new fall line and it's so gorgeous it's a matte or it's kind of like a perfect pumpkin color it's so so nice and um I've had only one other ColourPop matte shadow before and it was not good but this one is definitely has greater um, color payoff than the other matte one that I've tried and I also got Drift which is a pearlized one this gorgeous like deep purple it's so creamy it has like pink pearlized shimmer in it it's so nice as well so I've been really liking I mean I generally generally like um, wearing colored eyeshadows anyways like I'm wearing some pretty colored eyeshadow right now so those are right up my alley and I also got two colored eyeliners this one is like a rose gold copper it's um and get paid and it's really really subtle but i always apply colored liner just like right above my black eyeliner i just make a line ColourPop liners are my favorite colored liners i've tried so far because they're so creamy it's so easy for the color pay off to like you don't have to like mess with it a lot it just like glides right on and this one is really unique this is a baby blue and it's in prance and it's just like a cute baby blue one, and I actually got a lot of compliments when I wore this to school. You probably can't see it because the camera's really far. But um, yeah, I got a lot of compliments when I wore this to school, which is surprising because lots of times I didn't think I could really pull off blue, but I just wanted to try it out. And I liked the way that it turned out. So those are some really great purchases. When I went to Sephora, I got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I got just the mini bottle because eventually I'll probably buy the full size one, but I just got the mini one to test it out and see if it really works. And it really, really does. I went to the concert and my makeup was still intact after, which is crazy. And the last thing that I got that's makeup related is the NYX Micro Brow, which I heard was um, comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I swatched both the same day. And I feel like they are pretty comparable, but yeah, this is, I got mine in the color brunette. I needed a very natural brow pencil. I wanted it for when, um, on days when I wear no makeup or very little makeup because I have the um, Anastasia Dip Brow and um, that's for like really dramatic looks. And if I wore that with no makeup, I would look crazy. So yeah, that's everything that I got so far. I'm really pumped about wearing all this stuff. Maybe I'll do like, I'm really hoping to do some kind of outfit video soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.